G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, another Opus video today. So today we'll be doing our solar regulator. So the, get me cheesy toes out of the way. The uh, Victron 15 amp solar controller, all Bluetooth. Apparently it's a good unit. I'm pretty happy with the Victron gear so far. Um, you got three options here. So your bat is from your battery, your positive and negative from your battery. PV is from your solar panel and load is if you want to run anything directly off the solar panel so first up all i'm going to do is i'm going to tuck her away in the corner just over there mount her up and um, run the cabling now i'm just going to run a this this guy up underneath the trailer or weatherproof anderson plug and then when my rack uh, eventually arrives i'll be plugging a permanently mounted solar panel onto the rack so that's just ready for when that arrives so the good thing about the, uh, the Opus is this, this is just like board and insulation at the back. So I'm just going to put two self tappers in there to mount the, the controller and then run some cabling. And I'm probably going to have to drill a hole in my floor, which I'm a bit nervous about, but oh well, you only live once, eh? So that's all mounted and the cable from the battery is ran. I haven't connected it up yet, obviously. Um, just gonna go and find where I wanna drill this hole. I'm hoping I can drill it just below the controller so it looks nice and neat. Let's see what happens. All right, so I jumped up underneath and it looks like I'm safe to drill just below the, the vent in this room, so. Just here is the vent. I'm going to be drilling. It's really hard getting light for you guys. It makes life real hard. I'm just going to be drilling a hole right here. Then I'll stick a flexor up. So she no leaky. So as the hole drilled in the floor. Um, one thing to note is it's definitely, definitely worth taking the extra time to make sure you seal the hole up afterwards if you're gonna do it this way. Oh, God. <laughs> um, dogs are still working on how to get out of the trailer, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth taking the extra time to seal this up properly because if you don't, it gets into the, the wood and, um, and all of the, the insulation underneath, so. No, the cable's through, it's definitely run some sicker flakes and everything in the hole. Seal her up nice and good. Um, I'm just going to uh, obviously pull this through to the length I need, put it into the controller at the back there. Um, we'll fuse this end and then I'll mount the outdoor Anderson plug to the trailer where the rack's going to be mounted.
so that's the uh, solar panel plugged in there pretty sure it's a hundred, only 120 watt um so go inside and open up the app on my phone and see what she's see what she's doing all right so that's the solar panel plugged in at the moment uh i'm still on negative four amps when my fridge is cycling it draws six and a half to seven amps so currently getting about three amps into the system um, just to give you guys an example Kerry turn the solar panel away so now it's gone up to negative 6.5 and then shine it back in the sun yeah. so there you go you can see the panel working there so we're using about three amps at the moment um, it's quite a little bit overcast so we're not getting full sunlight but I'm happy with that. The only drama I did do was, um, yeah, as I just said to you, then this is not a Bluetooth one. So the Bluetooth one actually has like a little Bluetooth symbol next to the 15 there. Um, but I got this for 50 bucks less. So I thought it was Bluetooth, but it's not Bluetooth. Um, as you would have told, uh, as you can tell by every other video I make, nothing ever goes to plan. But still happy with the end result. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button.